Hi. Oh. Uh. Right. Oh my God, I need to wake up. I feel like today is the day that I might need more than just a herbal tea. I don't know if it's a herbal tea kind of day. I think it's a full on coffee. The only thing is, obviously, when you have a coffee, it's like 20 minutes deep into your bowels. It's like 20 minutes deep into your stomach. And then your, bowel, and then your bowels fall out. So basically, you have a coffee after 20 minutes, your bowels then fall out. And I just don't know whether I'm prepared to do that because I literally need to leave in 1.3 seconds. Ugh. Right. So today, today is Monday. This is Monday. And we are going to run into the sea. We're going to work out and do a run into the sea. This is the first time. No, it's not the first time I've done this. As I've done this a couple of times. It is meant to be so good for you. It's meant to be good for your muscles. It's meant to promote deep sleep. It's like apparently rich in like loads of minerals. The water, it's good for your skin. It's good for the mental health. Like, and apparently it just cleanses your spiritual aura. And I'm all about that. So this is obviously me cleansing place i've got me cbd i've got me bed spray pillow spray i've also got another spray which is like a tranquil one and i've also got these i got these from eminent oh my god i've literally fucking hammered that one jesus i didn't realize how much i hammered that god i've got like nearly none left i think i should start using the other ones now you wonder i'm drowsy every day um yeah so basically you got these from MS. absolutely love temple balm you put them on like your temples um and stuff like that and then i've got these the thing is yeah i'm not really a fan of these ones these are more like invigorating smells i want like relaxing smells because when i put it in there it's normally on a night time and why have i got like loads of little dog hairs all over god i need to like give this a little clean donut this is not a safe space for me crystals right now. But yeah, look at all me little crystals, man. I am literally such a witch. Why am I like this then? And then I've got me, me books there. All me manifesting books and stuff. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, so, yeah. Me and Sophie Kasai are going. And this is new day, new week. Is it a new month? Nearly a new month. New us. And I still need to sand that down on the ceiling with the pole. Right, come on then, let's go. Oh, that was awkward. Oh, that was so awkward. Right, we have arrived. We have arrived. I haven't shown them the steps. Right, so basically, what we're going to do, so we've decided that we're actually going to do about five laps of these steps right here. Them steps right there. Now they might not look that big to you, but let me just fucking tell you, that is that is a big load of steps that I'm really actually afraid. Now I've got me um me um fat burner shake thing i've got that um yeah and i'm a little bit worried i'm a bit worried but the beach is over there and we're gonna do this oh the last one last one we're doing it we've done five and i'm dying it's having me throw then Oh, we're about to go into the sea for a dip and I'm dying. Oh. But imagine how we're going to feel after this and the hippie that bod is on its way. Oh. 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 Done. 
I am so unfit, me, you know. I'm well unfit, like. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Same. Are you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the legs are shaking to stop that little <laughs> Oh, hey. Hi. Oh. My finger got mental health. I'm scared. This is not going to go well. I'll be like the shaking so much. Right. I'm really scared. Wait. <laughs> Let them win. I'm so scared. Right. She's still in. She's still I'm in so much pain. I can't feel my feet. My feet have swelled up. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Like I actually can't feel anything. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, I, I know. Oh, that was. Oh, that, was that was literally amazing. I can't believe it. I'm feeling so amazing. Powerful. So literally, well, Sophie was saying that oh. at one point she couldn't even speak. At one point where I couldn't get my breath and when I read up on it, it said you have to just fight that through. Oh, no. Nah. I, I thought I couldn't breathe. I thought I was going to have panic. <laughs> nah. Oh, I'm freezing. My legs. Look, look my legs. Look at this. Oh, oh nah. shaking. We're so red. Look at how red we are. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. Every Monday we're going to do that. Every, Every Monday. Monday. Start of a week. Start of a week. Fresh week. Fresh us. Fucking sound. <laughs> it's the hair for me. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the actual hair for me. What's happened to the hair then? What's happened there? Oh, same. That, honestly, that felt amazing. Ooh. I can't get over it. No. It, it's like it's a blur. I know. So we, we didn't think about anything. The only nah. thing we thought about is actually staying alive in the water. That That's it. the only thing I thought about so there. So then a couple of minutes of my life, that we, all that I was interested in was just getting in the water and keeping warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everything didn't matter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently now we're going to start feeling really cold. Uh -huh. So apparently your temperature drops even more. <laughs> throughout <laughs> the day. Throughout the day. So now basically we're going to freeze to death <laughs> throughout the day. <laughs> Right, I'm home. I'm home. I tell you what, like that's took it out of me. That has literally took it out of us. I'm gonna have some food now because I feel like my body is like gonna shut down. That's how I feel. Obviously, I've done my little workout. I've had me dip in the sea. Oh, I haven't got a lot in. I don't have a lot. I'm gonna have, what am I gonna have? I'm gonna have, I might have bagel. Cream cheese and salmon. Ah, oh, fancy an egg. I'm gonna have, what am I gonna have? No, I'm gonna have bagel, cream cheese and salmon because it's quick, easy, I'm gonna do it now. Right, just gonna wash the hands. Cause you didn't really know what's in sea water, do you? Do you? Um, basically, oh, there's me, there's me. Why, why am I starting to record now? When I'm in the middle of washing, why have I done that? Why did I do that? Two seconds. Oh, great. Hang on. Right. I'm going to actually put you here. Let's have breakfast together. Um, what, have I, what have I missing? Nothing. I haven't even put a, a, a table mat down because I'm that hungry. Right. Okay. So, the sea swim. Let's review it then. So the sea swim was actually amazing. It was very, very invigorating. There's quite a lot of health benefits for it. Wow. 
That's amazing. Um, I feel so energized. I feel fantastic. I mean, I don't know whether it's the um, the pre workout, like fat burn, I think, but I'm shaking like a shitting dog. Um, well, basically, mm, mm, mm. basically, um, I get a lot of DMs on Instagram saying things like. Because it, right, let's start from the beginning, right? If you follow this on Instagram, then you will know that at one point in my life, I'd suffered really, really bad with like mental health, anxiety, depression, and things like that. So basically, I do get people saying, like, how do you get out of a dark place? How, how did you change your mindset? How did you do it? And I'm going to tell you now, this is how I've done it. So. Um, I woke up, there was a point in my life where I literally used to wake up on a morning, right? And I used to lie there thinking, why have I woke up? Why? I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep forever. Like, I just don't want to wake up. Like, I can't be, like, I didn't have, like, a, I felt like I didn't really have a purpose in life. I had no structure out of my life. Um, you know, I was in a very, like, toxic environment um and i literally like i just like the mental health was so it was just all over the place like, i just had such a negative way of looking at life like honestly like i just i didn't have any but even though there was a lot of positive things going around us don't get wrong get us wrong I, I had a lot of things going on that that i should have been grateful for but because my mental health was that bad like because me my mindset was so negative I didn't appreciate anything in life. Nothing did I appreciate. So basically what happened is um, I made a very big decision in my life. Um, I made a big decision. I decided to walk away from something that I didn't necessarily want to walk away from, but I walked away from it because it was in my best interest. I needed to do it because it wasn't making us happy. I wasn't getting, I wasn't getting fulfilled in what, what I was going through. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so I made the decision to walk away. And from that day, for the first two weeks, I was ill, really, really ill. I was just, couldn't get out of bed. I was crying every day. I was just so ill. And I thought, I'm never going to be able to, like, get over this. And then what happened is, like, straight away, I messaged my really good friend, Michael. He's my PT. If you've seen us on Instagram, you would have seen that I went through this massive, like, body transformation. I felt very... Some days I was very body confident, though. It was really weird. Some days I was like, yes, I'm embracing it. I'm embracing who I am. Some days I'd wake up and I'd be like, nah, I, I hate my body. Like, my body's changed. I've gained weight. I don't feel as confident as what I used to. Anyways... So I got in contact with Michael um, and I said, I went, like, I just said, please help us. Like, I'm, I'm literally in the worst way. And Michael's actually very, very good with mental health as well. Like, he really, really understands, like, the mental health side of life. Um, so he was honestly, like, a blessing. That he was like, he was, uh, he was like a guardian angel that had been put into my life. So... We trained every single day. Even even when I was training though, don't get us wrong, I was hating every minute of it. Hating every minute of it. I hated training. Even ask him. Like, I am so lazy when it comes to training. I want to do the bare minimum. <laughs> um, but I got out of bed. I'd done it. I, I was training every day. I was forcing myself to do it even when I didn't want to. Um, and I was also in a calorie deficit as well. So I was literally like watching my calories watching what i was eating and i literally lost like how much did i lose i lost about a stone or something like that in in about like six to eight weeks six seven weeks i lost a stone and like and then i and then what and then one day i woke up right and i thought yeah i actually am i'm i'm i think i'm like happy like i feel all right like i actually feel all right and I was working, I threw myself back in at work, because obviously when I felt poorly, when I felt unwell, like, I was, like, turning down a lot of work, like, I just, I was turning it away, turning it away, because I just didn't want to be on camera, and what would, sometimes what would happen is, like, I would get work, and I, I would, br I would physically break down and cry, because I had to work, and I had to, like, 
pretend that I was happy on the camera. Some days I woke up, I was fine, I was doing it, I was doing it. Some days I woke up and I was like eating at me anxiety, I was shaking, couldn't do it. But then, yeah, so I was working, like I was working loads and I was like just threw myself into work, threw myself into my fitness. And then like all, and then like all of a sudden I just felt like I woke up one day and I didn't even realise it. I didn't even realise the change. But I was like, whoa, like I'm actually all right. Hadn't had a panic attack for weeks and I didn't even realize it now and, and I look back and I thought god I, I haven't had a panic attack for about eight weeks and like to me that was all like that that was really good because at least once twice a week I would have a panic attack and I cried every day like it was so bad and then um and then yeah so what I'm trying to say is self-discipline is what changed my mindset self-discipline meditating listening to he like mental health podcasts listening to manifestation podcasts um and I, I actually listen to um mantras as well like on spotify like morning meditation mantras and i just listen to it and get into it and that's what i think that's what helped us and even now like i still do it now i wake up every morning i put my meditation on like i do like my little morning routine you know I've, i get on my stripper pole and i just feel so self-confident like self, like i just feel confident again and i just think like for anyone who's out there that is struggling i think like when you literally when you force yourself to to you know train and release the endorphins after just keep doing it just keep pushing just take one day at a time don't expect it to change like that just focus on that one day when you wake up in the morning you need to set your routine on the night time you know wake up in the morning wake up have your coffee do your stretches do this go and work out come back get ready do your work when you kind of structure your day like that and you just focus on that structure each day you will see a change. You will start to see a change. Um, as well, I was obviously speaking to, like, I was speaking to therapists as well, which was helping us understand why I was feeling the way I was feeling. And honestly, it changed my life. It really changed my life. Self-discipline is key. And that is the reason as well why I've just went and ran into the sea. Because it's so yes it's freezing at the time and you're like oh my god this is the worst your body goes into shock but you know what the feeling that i've got now i feel amazing i feel on top of the world i'm so ready for my day i'm gonna eat my mint bagel right i'm gonna eat this bagel i'm gonna work and i'll just feel on top of the world i do need some food in as well because i can feel myself i'm getting a little bit dizzy in that but you know what right I've really enjoyed you as being here with me. I've enjoyed it. Thank you if you've stayed till this long on the video. Thank you for staying. Um, but I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat this bagel because I do get a little bit nervous eating in front of people. Look at that, I've got a little there. Yeah. yeah. So listen, I'll see you in the next video. I love you so much. You're so literally amazing. You are a bad bitch. You need to go out there now today. You need to smash the day because you, my friend, you are a king. You are a queen. You own the day. The world's your oyster. I love you so much. There you go. There's a kiss for you. Bye-bye. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even turn it off. Bye.